Services trend is considered as the new frontier for economic development. A vast body of research demonstrates that services play an important facilitation role and contribute significantly to enhance the productivity and competitiveness of the entire economy. Remittances from Ugandans in the diaspora is said to bring into the country $1 billion every year. This is actually a drop by $300 million from close to $1.4 billion uh, because of the COVID-19. The sector is still recovering from the COVID-19 effect. Services account for 60% of economic activity worldwide, contributing to economic growth and job creation than any other sector. The services sector is the largest contributor to national economy, estimated at 50.2% to GDP in 2013-14. Services exports have been relatively steady, especially during 2000 to 2012, where they registered an annual average trade growth of 18%. She Services exports grew from 5,385 billion shillings in financial year 2012-13 to 6,694 billion shillings in financial year 2013-14. Because we see before COVID, our focus was uh, to chase countries like Nigeria, uh, whose uh, remittances are at uh, about $29 billion. So you can imagine, for us as Uganda, before COVID, we were at $1.4 billion. So we are saying that uh, we need to do a lot of things uh, to see that we catch up. With activity at the airports closed during the two years, leaving Ugandans traveling to look for employment, education, adventure, call it search for greener pastures stranded. In thing, the world has now become a global village. That's why, uh, for example, somewhere when you go to, uh, to the United Arab Emirates, you find British companies there. You find American companies there, you find all nationalities. And that's the whole point. So we're not an isolated uh, case. So we need to embrace this and work together. The labor externalization industry was at the verge of collapse due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The sector has now registered achievements. By 2019, we're able to bring in $1.4 billion as remittances uh, from workers abroad. And uh, when COVID came in, we lost over $300 million. We were sustaining international airport, that is Entebbe, as a sector. The only person you could see traveling was going for work through externalization of labor. The experts in the industry believe if government joins forces, a lot could be desired. Make the sector well, come on around the table, let it be looked at with all these ministries together, Labor, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Internal Affairs, Ministry of Local Government, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, so that they sit because they are all dealing with one person. We put our heads together, make this safe, more productive, and very efficient. When they were reading the budget last year, they were talking about, uh, about 900 million US dollars that comes in directly through this sector. That is compared to none. Uganda still remained among the top 10 recipients of remittances on the continent, staying in top position among sub-Saharan African countries. Services that are often exported through cross-border supply include market research, statistical analysis, communication advice, legal, architectural, accounting services, computer-related services, and telecommunication services. Some of them that have traveled, they have come back with projects that employ more than 1,000 people. Just to flash you a bit, we have a peanut security here. It's a farm led by Eritani. The services sector in Uganda is now the largest sector in the economy. Sandra Kahonde, Joel Vubia, UBC News.